and of course following the following the recent landslide in West Pokot, the death toll has risen to 52. This as Governor John Lonyangapo appeals for more help from the national government. Our reporter Elvis Kuske is keeping tabs and now joins us. Elvis, uh, please continue from where you were. Thank you very much, Ashley. Yes, indeed, a uh, few moments we had in TVS, yes, Fred Matiangi, and he was forced to cut short his trip due to bad weather. But ironically, remember yesterday we were at Arnyarkulian village. This is in Tapachwad, Pokot South, in West Pokot County. Uh, we are forced to drive close to five hours. Then there's a place we are forced to go by road, by, uh, we have forced to use foot at least for an hour. So it's ironical that the national government is unable to fly to Nyarkulian area and since they have military and police choppers, yet uh, the standard team was able to use uh, our own means up to Nyarkulian where we saw more than 120 families uh, were displaced at that particular area. Another contradicting information is that uh, the county government of West Pokot had indicated early in the morning that 52 people are died in the West Pokot floods. But now, according to Rift Valley Regional Coordinator, so far so good, they have a number of 41. So it's a sharp contrast between at least 10 people or they uh, the national government cannot even account. And now, uh, the situation is dire. The humanitarian crisis has, has, re has reached a level that they cannot be contained. I managed to speak to some people. Uh, I also talked to uh, the Kenya Red Cross, and they are forced to send relief food at especially uh, villages like uh, Tapach. There's a place called Sebit. Uh, there's also Nyarkulian. Uh, there's also Sele, and also Talam villages, uh, which was worst hit uh, by the floods. But now, according to the county government of West Pokot, they have put in place tough and innovative measures that will ensure they secure uh, the people up there. I uh, remember uh, also we had also indicated that the uh, the MTRH or the Moi Teaching and Referral Hospitals has already sent uh, 40 doctors. This is a specialized team that will also address the dire situation. So far as we speak, we have at least 200 families at Kapenguria Ref Referral Hospital, where we are told that the county government of, of West Pokot uh, is doing everything possible just to ensure uh, that the victims are safe. But as we speak right now, the rains are continuing pounding the area, uh, but of the great concern is the sharp contrast where the county government uh, is indicating that we have 52 people who have lost their lives, yet the national government sticks at 41. All right. Um, Elvis, do you know where exactly the people that are being rescued are being relocated to? There's a temporary camp that was indicated yesterday by the Deputy County Commissioner of West Pokot County, that is Mr. Frederick Kimanga, uh, where more than 400 people from Nyarkulian village uh, were put. But now we have other areas that the ch police chopper, the military uh, choppers were unable to fly. So we don't know the exact number uh, of the, these victims, uh, especially at the upper level where uh, the police choppers were unable to fly yesterday. Thank you very much, Elvis Kuske, for that report. Of course, we stay on this story. We'll be keeping you updated on how those rescue operations continue. Of course, we hope that that death toll does not rise. But that's where we take a break here on Newsdesk. We still have much more in store.